If your sump pump does not operate, follow these instructions. Before getting started, a sump pump is one of those components that should be checked periodically to verify it is operating before it is too late. Sump pumps should be tested a minimum of twice per year. The best times are in the spring when you have all of the rain and melting snow and then in the fall going into the winter season so you know the system is operating when the ground is saturated with snow that melts. The best method to test a sump pump, bar none, is to pour water into the pit. The following quick check methods can be done, but they are not as effective. Pedestal type sump pumps have a pump located above water and are tested by lifting a float on the side of the pump. Submersible type pumps have either a float switch that is vacuum operated and is tested by unplugging the electric cord then locating the small tube at the end of the electric cord plug. You suck on the tube then plug the cord right back into the outlet. Please note, if that switch sticks when you suck on it you may have to blow on the tube to get the pump to turn back off. They will stick periodically. Submersible pumps with a float are tested by lifting the float inside the pit. In the event there is standing water in the basement or the crawl space, the pump is obviously not operating. Please do not enter the basement or the crawl space as touching water could cause an electrical shock. You will have to call a contractor for the necessary repairs. If you have no contractor, your real estate agent can be an excellent resource for a local contractor. Home-411 also provides a link at the lower left corner of this website to access contractors that can make repairs. We provide this link as a service for our members as contractors can be very difficult to find. Due diligence should always be used when hiring anyone to come into your home to make any repairs. Please read the Home-411 Limitations of Liability. If the basement has no standing water and is safe to enter, recommend going to the sump pit and checking the area inside the pit around the float. There could be something inside the pit blocking the float from being free, or the pump could be too close to the pit wall, causing the float to be pinned against the pit wall, not allowing the float to be free. If the sump pump will still not come on, go to the electric panel and find the designated circuit breaker for the sump pump. Hopefully the panel will be marked. You can also look for a trip circuit breaker. It will be in a one half on and one half off position. To reset the circuit breaker, flip the breaker all the way to the off position, then to the on position. The breaker should then be reset. If you were able to verify that the sump pump float was free and the circuit breaker is in the on and not tripped position and the sump pump will still not operate, you will have to call a contractor for the necessary repairs. If you have no contractor, your real estate agent can be an excellent resource for a local contractor. Home-411 also provides a link at the lower left corner of this website to access contractors that can make repairs. We provide this link as a service for our members as contractors can be very difficult to find. Due diligence should always be used when hiring anyone to come into your home to make any repairs. Please read the Home-411 Limitations of Liability.